नमस्कार टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑन सेफ इमिग्रेशन इंडियन इमिग्रेशन एक्ट 1983 डील्स अबाउट सेफ इमिग्रेशन एज पर इंडियन इमिग्रेशन एक्ट देर आर टू फॉर्म्स ऑफ रिक्रूटमेंट वन इज डायरेक्ट रिक्रूटमेंट एंड द अदर वन इज recruitment through recruitment agencies indian immigration act specifically says that a recruitment agent has to be registered with protector general of immigrants indian immigration act further prescribes how a recruitment agent can be registered with the protector general of immigrants so if anybody would like to go to a foreign country for employment then the, the prospective immigrant should ensure that they are dealing with a registered recruitment agent so how can you find out if an agency is a registered or not it is very simple you can go to the website controlled by the ministry of external affairs that web portal is known as emigrate.gov.in so in this web portal you can verify whether a recruitment agent is registered or not so first and foremost everybody should ensure that they are the process of emigration is happening through a registered recruitment agent as i told you there are two forms of recruitment one is direct recruitment and the other one is recruitment through recruitment agencies the first form of recruitment that is direct recruitment that is a very safe mode of recruitment the direct recruitment will happen through the foreign employer and the indian embassy of that foreign country they directly recruit the immigrants from india that is a very safe mode of recruitment but the number of employment or the number of recruitment is very less 95 percentage of the recruitment is happening through recruitment agencies so if somebody approaches you saying that they will take you to a foreign country so you should ensure the recruitment agent is a registered recruitment agency so as i told you you can verify whether an agent is registered or not so you can ask what is the name of the recruitment agency what is the registration number of the recruitment agency you can verify you can ask all the credentials and subsequently you can verify whether the agency is a genuine or not please ensure that you should do the dealings with only with the registered recruitment agency indian immigration act says that recruitment agency has to be registered with protector general of immigrants it is very common that our immigrants are not getting the proper payment or the proper designation once they landed in a foreign country so if you are going through a registered recruitment agent you can always give a complaint to the protector general of immigrants about the illegal practice of the recruitment agency if you are not getting the proper salary or if you are not getting the proper designation or if you face any form of difficulty in a foreign land you can give a complaint to the protector general of immigrants or protectors of immigrants under the control of the protector general of immigrants it is the duty of the protector general of immigrants or the protectors of immigrants to take appropriate action on the complaint filed by any immigrant related to the recruitment agency dear friends now we are going to discuss on a very important topic known as employment contract what is an employment contract an employment contract is a legal document executed between the foreign employer and the indian immigrant employment contract is a very important document it is a legal document executed between the candidate and the foreign employer an employment contract is a very important document an employment contract is a document 
signed and executed between a candidate and the foreign employer. An employment contract is very important because if a dispute is arising between the candidate and the foreign employer, then everything will be decided as per the content of the employment contract. An employment contract will say specifically with regard to the job title, description, salary, working hours, provisions for food and accommodation, details regarding the tax, whether the insurance is available or not, what are the annual leave, what are the provisions for to and fro air tickets, etc. So, before signing an employment contract, the candidate should know the contents therein. It is quite natural that most of the Gulf countries are following Arabic as their official language. So naturally, an employment contract would be in Arabic. So a candidate prior to signing of an employment contract is advised to translate the employment contract in a language which is known to him and understand the contents therein before signing an employment contract. Once an employment contract is signed and executed, then any dispute arising out of the employment contract would be decided as per the employment contract. Now let, let us discuss something on the passport. Suppose an immigrant is landed in a foreign country and he lost the passport. Then one can then what is the solution? The solution is that he should file a police complaint immediately and then report it to the Indian Embassy there so that the Indian Embassy can help the immigrant to procure a duplicate passport. Let us discuss on certain customs formalities as well. There are number of cases reported from the Indian airports saying that the immigrants or the candidates are handed over by certain packets like in the form of food or in the form of books. So we, we hereby advise all the prospective immigrants please don't accept any packets or items from the unknown people. Even if the known people are handing over any such documents or any such items, before accepting it, ensure the contents of that, uh, that packet. Because the, content, the, 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 the packets can contain drugs and such forms of sub substances. And if you are carrying, a, carrying all those documents to a for, all those things to a foreign country, lot of legal problems can arise. There are immigrants who are regularly using some medicines. So if you carry any medicines to a foreign country, please carry the prescription of a registered medical practitioner because the, sub the main substance of any medicines may be different forms of drugs. So if you are carrying any such medicines without a proper prescription of a medical practitioner, that also can be treated as an illegal uh, customs clearance. So that can create a lot of problems. So it is advised to take any medicines supported with a prescription of a registered medical practitioner. There are many instances where the immigrants are carrying even Ayurvedic medicines. But ensure that you should carry the prescription of a registered medical practitioner. There are Gulf countries which treats drug peddling as a serious offense. So all these forms of Ayurvedic medicines or allopathic medicines can have the substance of drugs. So if you are carrying any such medicines without the prescription of a registered medical practitioner, it can attract severe legal complications. It is, all, it is also advised to keep a soft copy of the passport, visa, 
and the employment contract. It is also advised to hand over all these copies to the dear and near ones so that if you lose all these documents it would be easy to make the documents duplicate. If the candidates lost all these document if you are having a soft copy it is easy to uh, prepare a duplicate of these doc particular documents. It is also advised to hand over one copy of your passport, visa and employment contract to uh, your family. Suppose if you are stranded up in a foreign country, that would help your family in India to contact the Indian embassy therein with the copies of the passport or the employment contract or the visa so that you can be traced out immediately. You should know that there are different forms of visas like tourist visa, employment visa, student visa, etc. So before you are going to a foreign country for a work, you should ensure that you are carrying a proper employment visa. There are many instances where candidates are carrying tourist visa and the fraudulent recruitment agents are taking the Indian immigrants with a, with a tourist visa and to take them to a foreign country for work. This is an illegal practice. So it is advised you should carry the proper visa for the specific purpose. Even if you are going to a foreign country for study, you should ensure whether the visa is allowing you to even go for a part-time job. I hope and trust that this video on safe emigration is helpful to you. Please convey your suggestions, your opinion on this. Thank you very much.